It's a hot one. Make sure you guys stay hydrated. I just got done cutting my yard and I noticed something with my Toro Time Master. That the uh, personal pace here, you know, I push it this far and my motor don't move at all. So I'm going to show you guys how to adjust this. So first I'm going to turn it on, start it up here and kind of see what I'm talking about. pull you in here to the garage and we're going to fix this up. Maybe I'll bring you out here where it's lighter. Alright, I got a uh, little socket. 7 sixteenths. I don't know if you can see that. So we're going to use a 7 sixteenths. We're going to loosen this bolt right here. Let me see here. Just a little. Okay. And now most people will think you pull the cord up, but you don't. You got to pull it down. One thing you got to make sure is this all is all the way up. And then you pull this down. Make sure that's up. And then once it's in there snug, we're going to tighten it back down. We're going to see if that helps. So let's fire this up.
So guys, I've never took it up my hill that good, ever. So if you're struggling going up hills with the Toro Time Master, do what I just did. Some of you guys, you might have a knob, I'll show you. Some of your Toro Time Masters might have this knob for this bolt, but I can see why Toro changed it because this probably rattles loose a lot compared to something like a, a, a nut like that. So simple, easy fix. Make sure you push the wire away from the handle. And as you can see, I climbed my hill. I'm sure this GoPro doesn't justify how steep that is, but it is steep. Uh, usually I gotta use two hands to push up there, but that little adjustment right there, climb the hill one hand, very simple. So, hey guys, I hope this helps someone and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.